Greetings, fellow Ambazonians. This is Capo Daniel. Today we are not going to have a podcast because we have been extremely busy. And uh, there are three things. But before that, I want to just tell our people that we are making sure to be on schedule. The PPP, that means the Peace Plant Paper. The motto of the Peace Plant Paper is going to be one Cameroon, two people. One country, two people. And I'll show now from our historic record, say we'll be joined Cameroon. The problem no be say will be that ever be a part of Cameroon. For we forever stop this war, we must de-escalate. For we forever stop this war or get a political solution. This is the only road for us to be honest with ourselves and our people. This is the only solution that have international traction and we are going to start in April, a massive international campaign from America, UK, South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, and every single country in the African Union and in the United Nations to push this agenda for the devolution of Cameroon as a solution, a political solution to guarantee our people a pathway to independence, just like the Scotland people have with the United Kingdom, just like the, the Northern Ireland people have with the United Kingdom. Anybody who have tried to oppose me have never challenged any premises of what I have said because this is the only option. There is no viable op uh, option for us to have independence now. That is facts that have been asserted by the international community. These facts have come when we have won the war. The concession Cameroon made is the win we have had and we must catch out now. If we don't, we are going to get into a total loss scenario. Number one thing, I want to first congratulate uh, General Popo, where the people for Ground Zero, they don't choose as a head of the ADF, so now he be the ADF head now. Ayabacho be choose as Manguru, and the people for Ground Zero then choose Popo, and Popo then be the big man for the ADF now, because uh, the business people then, then trust na he, and I want to make he, he remember, me remember, say, this war will start for fight time, the struggle of our people. Since the beginning of the fighting, we were winning. Today, the, the fighting is working against the struggle. The fighting was supposed to be for the struggle, but today the fighting is working against the struggle. Now, the ADF, the Rantok say, the one forget one month lockdown for a cock Manfe road. The one forget lockdown, say the one for cry, they die for big number. Any man where he believe, honestly, say that one lock the road for one month, Say that one for more than the dead for general big number. That means that man the smoke some bang away he mixed with pepper. Na lie. When I first declare lockdown for, for big number, he cried die last week. When I talk so when I want to destroy market for, for, for Gozang, when I run destroy and finish. When I run finish Bond Palace for EY. When I talk so when I want for lock man road for one month, lockdown for one month. Then when I talk so when I will never meet Bamenda operate. Bamenda go operate how? Petro for Bamenda go come on for Usai. Chop for Bamenda go come on for Usai. Any man who na ask on herself. I know say, would he blame Ayabacho? Because he stand like the leader. Now he be the only radical person where he be so stupid. For be king give black check. Where people the way they they inside mafia for the war economy that they take advantage of he. Not be say he get any power. Now the fact that. General Popo and all the ADF. When una be declare say una want to get locked down. For cry big number, they reinforce the way they fight for Ambazonia. For we then come out, they march for the street, they reject them. So make Wuna stop this nonsense. You are coming against your people. No one thing. What is happening in uh, in Bamenda since this radical move by Ayabacho in Chair Street and the killing of people, the, the killing of people in Goza, what has happened? The same people I was using to fight the kidnapping, travelers, Azeri, New Church. All that side towards my 90, 6 o'clock, every business have closed. They don't kidnap people the way they say, they did kidnap now people the way they, did say, way they did do call box. These are critical people who have intelligence. They are now targeting people where they say patrol. Last time they cash a woman for Och, uh, yesterday, they cash a woman for, for, for around Old Church Day where they don't go supply petrol for Nkwen. Come back, then take it 1.8 million. 1.8 million. They did take people and go, go put them for tattoo. They kidnap people, then go keep them for tattoo. The insecurity way will be the fight them. 
2023 from Quen Idena for inside inside Mancon. Six o'clock, all business are closed. If you don't fight for our economy, you have lost your brain. The only will our people can fight against or resist Cameroon is that we have a viable wartime economy. I say wartime because we know that we have sacrifices. If you people choke up our economy, you will not only destroy the fighting, but you will put yourself at risk. When are the whole motor there now, the pack and for corner road, take driver them, they take money. Motor there, they carry tomatoes from Fumbot, go down for inside uh, Nigeria, go down for inside La Republic. When are they stop and they take money. When I ask myself, the town will be the work with, uh, with big number. People there, they say can't drink. Their president, they, they gather money, jump for camp. Come young them, they, they gather money, jump for camp. People there, they say even Aero, pack people, their president, so that me, gonna, me motor, they, they drive past freely. Then our passenger, the way they don't even know they know nothing. Where maybe they, they go for go visit, maybe in a studio where they go, go find for take and go for school. They go forget freedom of movement. You cannot fight for a people when you don't know their interests. If you cannot understand these things, then you should not be fighting. We have done everything we could do to win the Republic. The peak of our, our, our struggle 2019, we have squandered it. Today, you people were arguing me about the economic of Cameroon. Go and look the United States Moody's report. Cameroon have had increase in salaries for its civil servants. It is a Lavaya King's economy made up of vampire. Scratch my back and scratch your own. The rich are becoming richer and they will become even more rich. And this war that we are fighting in the Republic is the biggest gift we have given to this Bulu Betty clique that have seized total power. Look what Ferdinand Gongo is doing. If you think that Pobia was worse than Amadou Aijo, Ferdinand Gongo will be worse than Adolf Hitler. We have seen Cameroon intelligence, Kunyam Titus, doing everything to even provoke Ambazonian to fight. Because they need this war to go on for them to keep on harvesting and milking the cow, the cow of the, the war economy. Atanganji Paul and all their agents. We know the dynamic in that country. My people listen to me very well. All the international countries, when we were fighting this war, they were supporting us. We had a chance to convince them. Now they have come out clearly to tell us that it is not possible. Ambazonian independence is not viable. Our fighting on the ground, our fighting, our best fighting on the ground, International War Institute have stated that it does not amount up to liberation. What we are doing is simply resistance. We will go and throw one bomb and then we will come and jake our chest. We should understand our reality. Make no mistake. We, the people of Ambazonia, will never allow our country to be in a perpetual state of violence like Mexico. We will refuse to become Nicaragua or Nicaragua or how, whatever they call them. This world economy that have taken over our country. Today you want to lock Manfe Road. You are lying that you, it is because of big number. You have locked the road to Bengui Bamenda Road. For how long? For what? And you, the Ayabacho and the Egg of Sea. Why did you ask General Saigon to open the road in Ndop? In Ngokitunja there. Why? And today you have locked the road in Bengui. You want to lock the road for, 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 God forbid, you people know what you are doing? You want to block the most important road for our people? You think that this is a game? Whoever is manipulating you people, whosoever Cameroon intelligence officers are engineering this deal because they want to spike the price of petrol and make maximum benefit. They want to use monopoly in war to become monopoly producers, suppliers of finger. In Bafusam and not even in Bamena for the most part, but to Bafusam. You people have no shame. You have no shame. This struggle has become a motif. It has become, you use it like a motif to continue cartel-like activities to exploit our people. And criminals like Ayabacho will not stand up for the truth. We have had enough. We, the people of Ambazonia, Bansor people are being buried in, in Douala for the first time in history. It is a shame for us. The diaspora who supported this struggle, who contribute money for this struggle, cannot go back and visit their home in peace.
How many milliard did big number die in the treasury? The people in the egg of sea, they don't even know. Don't mind this, they are propaganda they are doing. They don't even know what is happening on the ground. How much money have I organized? I make sure that all the union president are giving money directly to the camp so that you people can leave our population alone and then we can fight against the Republic. Even when you people just want to sit down and become millionaires, it is still okay. At least you can provide a shelter where soldiers can go and take a rest. But still yet, you have chosen this way. The vampires are in total control of Ground Zero. The fighting have turned against the struggle. We were there fighting for the struggle. Now the fighting is against the struggle. So fellow Ambazonians, I am calling on General Popo and all Ambazonian fighters to not attempt to block that road. The Cameroon intelligence officers who are engineering such activities should stop. We know that the Cameroon government, in certain instances, their intelligence wing that is working with Kuniam Titus have provided weapons to Ambazonian fighters to show it on video and make propaganda videos to show the, the, that war is going on and that the war economy should continue flowing from both sides. We have seen our own soldiers also doing Atalaku to keep the war fund going. The diaspora money today means zero. Why should you contribute money when you don't even know where the money is going? Mumu Lucas Asu, you people have collected more than one million. Have anybody who said that his egg of sea know where that money is going? We beg for money to give to soldiers who wanted to fight. Why? Why all this mafia over the dead and suffering of our people? Why all this mafia? You have heard Mark Barata's interview with me, Tapang Ivo. You have heard all the analysis. So we, the people of Ambazonia, we are going to move to secure a devolution of Cameroon so that we can be on our own, manage our own budget and run our own economy, transform our forces who are genuine fighters, who stand for real freedom of our own people, who are fighting for independence, the real independence, not people who are using independence like a motif to exploit people and to engage in vampire-like egoistic campaign of personal occultic groups. People come and listen wisdom. Think by yourself. We cannot win La Republic du Cameroon for independence. The declaration of Seseko for our independence have not been recognized for eight years now counting. There is no prospect that it can be recognized. The solution I am providing as the chairman of the Ambazonian People's Right Advocative Platform is the only viable options that we have. The resistance must continue, and as I said to all forces on Ground Zero, put your gun close to your chest. Stand with us. We have the biggest network of our population behind us and within our forces to make a difference in the life of our people and guarantee a democratic pathway for the independence of Ambazonia. God bless you all.